What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at the map view widget for Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at the map view widget, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, like I said in this video, we're going to look at this really cool map view widget for Kinter. Now, this does not come with Kinter. We're going to have to install it separately, but very cool. We can, you know, create a map. You can see I've got Las Vegas here. We can scroll in, we can scroll out. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with this. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Get Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist for this series with over 200 other Kinter videos. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic Kinter starter code that we've always got. I'm calling it map.py. And the first thing we need to do is install the Kinter map view widget. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my C GUI directory. And let's go pip install pkinter map view. And I've already got it. So it's saying, hey, you've already got it, but obviously it will install on yours. We're also going to need something called the Piper Clip, which is kind of weird. So let's go pip install P Y P E R C L I P. It's like Paper Clip with a Y, Piper Clip. And this actually isn't in the documentation for this thing. It was recently updated a couple of days ago. And I guess they just haven't fixed that yet, but you have to do this separately as of right now. I'm sure they'll fix that in the future and it will install automatically when you pip install the other thing we just installed. But for now, you have to do that manually. So all right, let's go ahead and clear that head back over to our code. And now we have to import this thing. So let's just go import tkinter map view. And this map view before we get into this, I want to show you the website. It's really cool. If we head over here, it's just github.com slash Tom Shemansky slash tkinter map view. And I don't know who Tom Shemansky is, but he is awesome. He's got a couple of different things he's created that I'm going to show you that are really cool. Uh, but for this video, we're just going to look at this map view. And you could see you could do all kinds of cool stuff with this thing. You can set markers, you can scroll around. So we're going to be playing with this in this video. But you can set coordinates, you can also use addresses. So we're going to do both of those things in this video, you can set markers, we'll probably talk about that some other time. And uh, just really cool. You have these tiles you can play with. And by default, this uses the open street map map, right? So that's cool. If you want to use a different map like Google Maps or something, you can also switch to that as well. Uh, so it's really cool. But we'll get into all that later. So first, let's play around with this thing. Now this is super easy to use. So I'm going to start out by creating a label, I'm just going to call it my underscore label. And that's going to be a label frame. And we want to put this thing in root. And that's my underscore label dot pack this guy and give it a pad y of like 20 push it down screen a little bit. Now we're going to put our map inside of this label frame. Now we're not going to do anything crazy in this video to make this interactive. I'm just going to show you how to use the basic usage right now. Probably in future videos, we'll play around with this and, and get into more detail. But to use this thing, we just call it up. So so call it anything you want. I'm just going to call this map widget. And this is a tkinter map view dot tkinter map view. And pay attention here to the capitalization. Everything is not capitalized in this one, but the T and T Kinter, the M and map and the V in view is capitalized. So here, like any other widget, we tell it where we want to put this. And we want to put this in my label, stick it in the frame. And now you just define how big you want this thing. So let's give this a width of like 800 and a height of like 600. And we also want to give this a corner underscore radius. Radius, there we go, of zero, make it nice and cool looking. So now we just pack this thing like we would anything else. So map underscore widget dot pack. And that's all there is to it. Now this will just give you the default area. So if we save this head back over to our terminal, and let's go Python map dot pi, we can see I'm not even sure where this is. If we scroll out somewhere in Germany, maybe yeah, the default is Germany, Berlin, I think this guy is from Berlin, the guy that made this. So that's the default. So that's cool. How do we, you know, set a different default? How do we set the zoom level? You can see here we're very zoomed out, you could go all the way in. Uh, how do you change that? I'm just using the flywheel on my mouse to change this side or you can use these buttons as well. So let's play with this. I'm going to move this down. And here let's set coordinates. So like I said, there's a couple of different ways you could do this, you can use longitude and latitude coordinates. If you know those, you can also use a street address. So we'll look at both of those. So let's go map underscore widget dot set underscore position. And then you just pass in your longitude and latitude positions. 
So Vegas is a 36. Uh, 0.1699, I think. Sounds right. By negative 115, point, uh, 0.1398, I think. So that's Vegas, baby. <laughs> all right. And that's all there is to it. We can also set a zoom level. So how far in do we want to zoom or how far out do we want to zoom? We do that just by map underscore widget dot set underscore zoom. And then you just give this a thing. So 10 is a decent zoom level. If you go higher than that, well, we'll see what it does. We'll play around with it. So let's run this and see what this looks like. So boom, there we have Las Vegas and the entire town. So that's at a zoom level of 10. If we change this to say 20, run the sky again. Now it is very, very zoomed in. So the higher the number, the further zoomed in it is. And you can see I can scale back and eventually we get back to that outer view of Las Vegas. We can keep going. There's Nevada, there's California, there's the United States. So that's cool. I'm going to change this back to, let's go 15 here. Now, that's how to set the coordinates. Let me comment this out. And now let's set address. We can do the same thing. So map underscore widget dot set underscore address. And here, you just sort of use comma separated addresses. So my very first apartment when I lived in Chicago was at 10 West Elm Street. And that's Chicago, comma, Illinois, comma, United States, <laughs> right? So if we save this and run it, we could see, okay, this is definitely Chicago. If we zoom out, there it is. There's like Michigan. So I'm not happy with that zoom level. So let's play with that a little. Let's move it to like 20 really zoom in there and see if we can see my old apartment. And yeah, there it is. There's West Elm Street. There is number 10. There's the hang up bar that was below my apartment. Very cool. And we can zoom back out and you can see there's Navy Pier, all the fun Chicago things. Very cool. So that's the Kinter map view. Huge shout out to Tom Shemansky. Very cool. Very easy to use, all kinds of functionality. We didn't even really get into all the cool stuff you could do with that in this video. In this video, I just want to show you the basic functionality, show you how to get up and running with this thing. If you're interested, you don't want to wait for me to do another video in the future on other things that you can do, head over to the website, github.com slash Tom Shemansky slash tkinter map view, or you could just Google Kinter map view and this will pop right up and come through here and look at this. Play around with setting position markers. You can see there's little animation thing you can see setting a marker boom you just set one there you know get clear markers all the stuff you can read through here the documentation is fantastic he does a really good job with the documentation so it's very self-evident how to use all these things if you spend just like five minutes looking at it so very very cool and uh, a lot of fun so that's all for this video if you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and check out codeb.com where you can use coupon code youtube 50 to get 50 percent off membership so that's access to all my courses over 50 courses thousands of videos and the pdfs of all my best-selling coding books doing over 150,000 students learn to code just like you my name is john elder from codeb.com and i'll see you in the next video